Um, I'm going to make some lemonade bars for a, a luncheon uh, that we're having tomorrow. And this is a, like a dessert kind of bar. Uh, I'm getting the recipe from the Home and Garden Party. I think it says Home and Garden Party. Yeah, Home and Garden Party. This is the cookbook two. The second one they have, I guess. Um, I've made these like two or three times before, and they're always really, really good. So what you need is uh, frozen lemonade, and this has been sitting out, so it's thawed out. You need some graham cracker crumbs for the crust. You need Cool Whip. We just get the light Cool Whip, which works perfectly fine. Um, a third of a cup of butter. Some yellow food coloring. Some sweetened condensed milk. This is a 14-ounce can. Yeah, 14-ounce can. And you'll need some sugar. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, melt my butter and my um, melt my butter and mix my graham crackers and my sugar together, and I'll be right back. I got melted my butter, and again the butter it was a third of a cup, one third cup of butter, and I'm going to use one and one fourth cups of crushed graham cracker crumbs. How much is actually in here? And since I know I'm going to need one and one fourth, I'm just going to do five one fourths. And then I need um, three teaspoons of sugar. And this is how I usually do it. I used to take a fork and mix my sugar in with my graham crackers first, just to kind of get the, the sugar mixed in. And I also have, if you can find it, you want a 7x11 casserole dish. Um, this particular pan, I got the aluminum pan. This one was a 12x8? I think it was 12x8. Um, yeah, 12x8. So this is a 12x8 pan. It's a little bit bigger, so it'll be a little bit thinner, but that's okay. That'll work. Um, and it's a disposable pan, so I can just take it to work and just throw it away when I'm done with it. If everybody, I'm sure it'll all get eaten up. So I'm just going to take my butter and pour in here. And then I'm going to mix this up with the uh, graham crackers. And it won't all necessarily get really super moist, but you can get all of it kind of moist. Especially if you kind of take your fork and, and squish it around. But it should be kind of crumbly. Yeah. Then I'm going to take and push into the bottom of this pan. And the recipe actually just says push into the push into pan. So if you have, um, you don't need a really thick layer on the bottom. So if you have enough to go on the sides just a little bit, it doesn't have to be a lot, but just a little bit to give up. A little bit of an edge to it. Um, you can see I've got a fairly thin pan too. Uh, press it in fairly hard. I mean get it pretty packed in there pretty good because the better you pack it in the better the crust will be. They'll come off with the actual lemonade bars when you cut into them. Um, if you don't press it down it'll just kind of fall apart in big crumbles. Um, so the next thing I need is I need six ounces of lemonade. We couldn't find the little small cans. They only had the big cans. So this is a 12 ounce um, can of lemonade. So I'm just going to pop this loose and hopefully it's thawed out. If it's not, um, you should be able to get out what you need, even if it's a little frozen. And again, I need six ounces. So. I'm going to pour this, no, I can pour it with this. I think that's almost dead on. Yeah. It smells good. It smells good and lemony. So put that in a bowl. And I didn't need a bowl this big, honestly. I could have done with a smaller bowl. I don't know why I grabbed this big bowl. But you're going to do. I don't know. It was the first one I grabbed, so what can I say? So you got that, and you've got a 
your sweetened condensed milk. And let me scrape this out and I'll be right back. It's milk in here. Go ahead and stir this up. Be careful not to splatter it. But can I get it all mixed together? If you got a mixer or a whisk, that would probably work too, but a spoon works good. And then um, I'm going to go ahead and put my five drops of yellow food coloring in here. Just to make it really good and yellow because that's not very yellow. Okay. Now you need to take your um, 16 ounce container, cool whip, and it takes the whole 16 ounce tub. So, and you also, um, let me tell you, I took that um, graham cracker crumb, um, the pan with the graham cracker crust, and put it in the refrigerator just to let it cool. Uh, that way, when you try to spread this in here, it won't be pulling up the graham cracker. So let it cool off in the refrigerator for while you're mixing all this stuff up, and that way it won't pull pull apart. I'm hoping my Cool Whip is thawed out. Probably should let this sit out just a little bit longer because it's got a few little parts of it that are frozen, but it's not it's not a huge hunt, so I think I'll be all right. But. And you really just want to work this in. Don't stir it, but you really want to just kind of fold it in place. So it'll still remain kind of uh, light and airy, kind of fluffy. That smells so good. This would make a great uh, dessert on any uh, warm day if you're going to take a picnic or you want something just sweet and light and uh, Springy, I mean, it reminds you of spring. This always reminds me of spring and summer. Um, you know, the, anything lemon, I love lemon. And don't think this is a tart uh, dessert either. It's very, very sweet. Um, a lot of people think lemonade bars, it's gonna be very uh, uh, tangy and tart, and it's not. It's very, uh, it's a very sweet uh, dessert. I'm trying to get some uh, frozen lumps in there. I can just see a few of them. Okay, that looks pretty good. So now we're ready to put it into the actual crust. Okay, there's my crust. And this is pretty, it's pretty runny anyway, but it's not like watery to where it's going to really run everywhere. I'm going to leave just to make sure I've got enough room in this pan. You can see I actually got a bigger pan than the 7 by um, 11 they were calling for and it still um, made more than enough. I actually have that much mix still left and I don't think I'm going to be able to put it into here. Not without overflowing it. And I always go back and forth and kind of sm smooth it out. And it makes a little bit of a, um, you know, a little bit of a wave on the top. Just to kind of make it a little fancier looking. And then take just a little bit of the graham crackers that you have left over. And you can just stick your hand in here and just sprinkle a few of them on top. Just a dusting. It doesn't have to be a lot. Um, just to get a little bit of, of color on top so it's not all that, that all white color. And there you go. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to stick this in the refrigerator. Um, have it at least in the refrigerator at least three hours. Um, and then you, you're ready to serve it. You can cut it in the bigger pieces you want and you're ready to go. Um, but uh, three hours is a minimum to let it firm up and then it's ready to go. And I'm going to enjoy eating my, uh, my leftovers.